Alright, so I recently received the Hit the Bottle Jelly Shots collection for review from Hit the Bottle and Lantern and Wren. And it comes in eight colors. It comes in red, which is called Fireball, orange, which is called Screwdriver, yellow, which is called Bumblebee, green, which is called Shamrock, blue, which is called Blue Kamikaze, and purple, which is called Purple Hooter. It also comes in, which I'm not using for this water marble, but I want to show you, a pink, which is called Pop Rocks. And it comes in a black, which is called Black Magic. And you don't see black jellies very often, and I think they're really good for sort of the sheer um, uh, lace-type looks. Um, so I think that that's a pretty versatile um, uh, black jelly. So what I did was I just created a really simple water marble. I just did a bullseye and then dipped. I used those colors in um, the rainbow color, but I left the red in the center as opposed to way on the outside just for a little bit of a different look. And so I'm just uh, opening up these bottles all the way. And... Um, I'll show you what I did here for this water marble. So I have my NyQuil medicine cup filled with some bottled water and I am just going to clean this up a little. Okay. And uh, for the base I am using two coats of Hit the Bottle Hollow There Beautiful which is a stamping polish, but I use it as a base quite often as well. It's just a really, really pretty silver hollow. And it makes a great base for these jello, jelly shots because the, the hollow comes through and provides a really nice sparkle and shimmer to uh, this water marble, I feel. And normally, if when I do it on my nails, I would put a liquid latex defender on, like this Manny Defender the water marble edition from Lantern and Wren. So, again, just do a sweep of the water. Okay. And I started with the red. And again, I just, I like to make sure that it spreads to the outside. And let that spread a little. The yellow, the green. And I like to twirl it around or give the container a little tap to make sure this polish spreads before. Dropping the next drop. Then I'm just going to finish the drop of the red. And this is about the simplest water marble you can have, really, because I, I'm I'm not drawing any designs into it. I'm just going to dip into the bullseye itself and just take about half of that bullseye. And normally my nail would be pointed down like this. Okay. And this is longer than my nail, but I would go in slowly at this angle. Okay, and then clean up the excess. You can blow on the water a bit if it's not dry, but this is. Okay, when the water's clean, just pull your nail up slowly, almost vertically. And you can shake off any excess drops there but that's what it looks like. Just really simple, but it really shows off the colors well, I feel, 
and um, and the beautiful shine of the hollow base as well. And I love jellies, not just for water marbling, but uh, to do a pond mani and uh, where you do layers of um, of a polish of the jelly polish with stamping or any other kind of nail art and you just get a lot of depth doing that. You can use them for lead lighting as well. They look great in a gradient over white or silver or silver hollow. So I, I really find these quite versatile and really love jellies. Thanks for watching.